Got one. Got one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, Sam. <laughs> there we go, baby. There we go. Oh my goodies. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah. <laughs> there he is, baby. What's up, guys? So I just lost a really, really nice snook. Uh, we're out here today fishing the river. Uh, last week I caught a 39-inch snook, so it made me want to get out here and get that on film. Uh, we started off trying to catch a mullet. I broke off on this big pier that's all broken down, lost a good fish. Came to our second spot, planning to throw artificials. We're throwing the NLBN low mold today. And first freaking dock I pull up to, we spooked off a couple big fish. I made a cast in front of them. It ate, fought for, I don't know, maybe maybe 30 seconds, made some huge jumps and big splashes. And finally did a full jump out of the water, about two or three feet out of the water, and spit my hook, and, and that was that. I guess I probably should have bowed better. I was bowing to a freaking silver king. But anyways, guys, that's a... That's the plan today. We're throwing little mullets, uh, some mini mullets, and maybe if we catch some live mullet, we're gonna throw some live mullet and try to catch some big, big dog snook. Throwing the new Solace, throwing the prototype reel, and also throwing the Resolute spinning reel. So hopefully uh, we'll be back in a few and we'll get on some action, guys. Probably snook, oh, I think it's gonna break that Eat him. There might be one underneath the first dock. Yeah. Oh, there's one thing in front of it. Yep. No. No, that's all right. Oh, he's always good for these ones, man. There we go, baby. Of course, of all the fish we've been seeing, we get this little guy. It's snook, though. That's a stud. It's a snook. It's actually the biggest snook I've ever seen in my entire life. This is like the typical size we used to catch underneath this dock for, for years, man. There you go. NLBN, catch a snook. See ya! The fact that I haven't chased anything though, I'm like, this is bizarre. One day you're gonna take it. Right. There he is, baby. There he is. He came down that shoreline fast. <laughs> you got excited too, boy. Careful. Did I send you off or because I stopped? Oh, I oh it's probably because I stopped it with the powerful. <laughs> yee -hee -hee. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Please don't, please don't. Please stay low, please stay low. Hop in the water here. Okay, see my fish, see my fish, okay. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're about to smoke me again. I only have 30 pound freaking line on. You're good. Yee -hoo! Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, this is a good fish. It's a good fish. Ah, I saw him coming down that line. I made a great cast on him. He smoked the bait. Just smoked it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to go down this way. Yeah, he's, he's going good. left. You gotta do. All right. Let's kick the shoes in. I don't want to lose those. Man, he is a tank. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. He's up there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's about to get real hairy. He's about to get real hairy. Get back, baby. Get back. This must be a bigger fish than I think. It's not 40. Nope. Big fish, but not 40. Big fish, but not 40. Fun fish. Woohoo! All right. All right, big girl. Let's get you back over here, okay? You wanna go on that side, all right? That's all right. Oh, baby. Ah. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. Choke down that mini mullet. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Just completely inhaled that bait. Look at that. And I'll be in a little mullet. Deep in there. 
deep in there. All right, here we go. Pulling it out. Damn, look how frayed that thing is. I can't believe that. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. What a stud. It's like a 36 inch snook right there. Oh my goodness, thick too, bro. Just thick too. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Big girl. That was a long fight, big girl. Sorry you had to, uh, you had to face me with that solos. She's good. What a beauty. What a beauty. So we're coming down the shoreline after a tough morning. Lost a couple nice fish and caught a couple big mullet that we're going to use later here. Hopefully catch a monster on them. But um, we weren't sure, so sure how those big mullet were going to work. They're a little too big. They're like 18, 20 inches. So we decided to hit a couple shorelines before we went to go use those big fish. And, Sure enough, uh, on this one shoreline, we had a really big fish come cruising down. I literally, I saw him so fast and I just made the cast and he smoked it, she smoked it and just completely engulfed the bait. I mean, choked that thing down. It was so, so deep into, into the fish. I couldn't believe it. Like this thing is so frayed up, like six inches up the bait, this thing is frayed up and so frayed up too. I, I'm, I'm surprised it didn't break off to be honest. That was totally wild. Man, that was just a big, big, beautiful fish. Ate the NLBN, this, this little mole right here. You know, I give it a hard time because it's kind of a one-use bait. Usually after one fish, it, uh, it, it basically is done for. But you know what? This is actually the third fish on it today. Oh, no, this is a new one. This is still my first fish on this one. But still, these things catch fish. You know, if it's only going to be used for one fish, that's fine. If it's going to catch a monster, though, with that one fish, then that's a good thing. And, Definitely, I'm definitely gonna be throwing more of these. They uh, they gave me a new appreciation, no doubt. I've caught some some good fish on these. So, anyways, guys, we still got those big mole. We're gonna go try and catch a monster snook with one of them. Hope we'll see you on some more action, or else uh, we're gonna head home soon. So, boom, baby, got it done. Ladies and germs, we're about to throw in that corner. Is that them in that corner? You think? Maybe. Okay. Oh, that didn't wake him up. I don't know what will. All right, hold tight. Still seeing some big fish back in that corner. Right on the edge, man. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, that's good fish, that's good fish. Woo! Oh, goodness. What a fish. This is gonna get hairy here. These pilings, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, baby. Haha, <laughs> don't need the live bait today, do we, buddy? Ooh. Try to get underneath that one, too. My goodness. He's smart. Not smart enough, I guess. He ate my bait. Woo, there we go. Oh. Where the net comes in handy, huh? Almost just got my power pole. Jumbo number two, brother. Jumbo number two. On the little mullet, guys. On the little mullet. Let's go. <laughs> That's what's up. That's 
what's up. All oh, right, man. such a beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. Eight right underneath that dock. I love when they're underneath the shade. It's always where they seem to eat. Man, just inhaled that bait. And gosh, what a big snook, too. Fought hard, was trying to take me in between all those pilings, all those flat floating debris. Whew, that definitely made his life a lot harder, Sam. All that floating debris is crazy. Hold on. Oh, man. Look at that fish. Gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous stuff. Woo! That was a nice one. <laughs> that was wild. Ready? All right, what's up, guys? So. We just uh, just rounded out the day, hit the last spot, and we were trying to throw that massive mold to get a big snook. And I ended up getting hooked up underneath this piling, and I just started making casts up underneath the dock. And finally, I just got blasted by a big, big fish. It was a beautiful, beautiful snook. Freaking smoked that little mullet. So I've been testing the, sorry, it wasn't the little mullet, it was the mini mullet. I've been testing the mini mullet, the smallest size of NLBNs, and I've been testing the little mullet, a little bit of a larger size size of the NLBN. And both have been great, but I'll tell you what, so far that little mullet, that smaller profile right here in Twisted T, this thing has been money. It has been money. I'll definitely say like this bait catches big snook. I was pleasantly surprised. It does have a really cool fleeing action. It reminds me of a live finger mullet. The downside is it does come off the hook a little easily. It does pull apart a little too easily in my opinion. Um, it's just not the most uh, hardy bait, but in terms of action, like this thing is funny, guys. I was I was pleasantly surprised. I really wanted to hate on these lures. Um, like I said, my only con is that it doesn't last long enough. But all in all, I give this a plus. I will definitely fish more of these NLBNs because they definitely catch big snook. And next, I'm gonna try and get a tarpon on one of these guys. So maybe that'll be the next video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the snook action. Action. If you don't already, subscribe below. Let me know what you think about. The, uh, the video in the comments, what we can work on, what you like about the videos, what you don't like. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. We appreciate you. Good fishing.